Hello, namaste, chili eagles. Uh, so today, um, I hope you don't mind, uh, but I'd like to do a little bit of core work with you. So today is going to be yin and yang. So obviously the yang part is going to be to find some warmth, that connection to prana, our energy, that connection to a little bit of strength at the root to keep us kind of sitting a little bit lighter in ourselves. Um, and the yin is going to be sort of peppered in between for soothing and lengthening. So hopefully we should have a little, a nice little balance of fire and space. So do take care of yourselves if you're dealing with anything in the back. Um, do just take it easy, make the movements small, or when in doubt, please do feel free to take rest. So we're gonna start off on the ground. And I always find that I crave a little bit of that warmth, that core work in the winter time. So hopefully this is gonna get us sort of toasty from the start. So you might be facing the front of your mat here and we'll just take a little wriggle of the hips side to side. Take a couple of rolls of the shoulders back and down and then just send a nice deep breath in through the spine and out of the mouth. And if it feels quite a relief to do that, let's go one more time. Clearing, exhale. Okay. Inhaling, taking the hands towards each other in prayer position. Let's keep rising through the spine and connect thumbs to the third eye. Let's massage a circle there. And so whatever you're coming from, whether it's the first thing in the morning, you're taking a break from something. Just allow yourself to move into that sensation. How does it feel? Where is the breath? And keeping your curiosity going, sort of follow that sensation as you bring your hands one on top of the other to the chest. Really try to notice your heartbeat, that tender pulse. And take your next three breaths deeply, but naturally, as if you're kind of just observing yourself. It's almost like a visitor. How does your breath move today? And just start to very slowly crack the eyes open. Find your hands on the knees and bring the chest forwards. So you're leading with the heart in and up and then into that rounded back, kind of hanging back into your shoulder blades, chin slightly tucked. Inhale forwards, up and exhale back into shoulder blades. Two more times. And maybe trying to find an extra rise, extra space through your spine. Inhale, sit tall. We're going to take your left shin with you towards your chest and stretch your right leg out as we come to the ground. So you should feel a stretch across your right psoas, right hip and then that left hip too. You might just rotate your ankle joint here. Big breath in, big breath out. Let's start to peel your chest off the ground. So your head's coming with you, but your head's not leading you as you hold that little bit of core strength and we're taking the right foot off the floor as well. So you should feel extra weight on the lower back. We're gonna try and keep that as we breathe in and just exchange over to your right shin, lengthen the left leg. Inhale, exhale to the other side. 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 Inhale
exhale, right shin. Inhale. Exhale, left shin. So that's that strong lower back as we keep breathing. Try and keep the face soft. And notice the warmth around the belly. We're going to start to speed it up. Double time. And just let your breath be full if you can. So I want you to feel like you're kind of just stirring up, using those muscles, using that spice. Last four, three, two, one. Inhale, change over to your right shin. Let's take yourself down to the ground. Squeeze in that right shin, rotate the ankle. Little yang, now a little yin. Let's keep your right ankle flexed and just let go of your left hand so only your right hand is on your right shin. And we're just going to take a little frog's leg open to your right side. So you're literally just going to almost paint a little semicircle with your knee open to the right. It doesn't have to be much. Your left hand might be steadying your left hip. Just breathe into that new hip space, however tight that might feel. Come back if you need to. We're going to breathe here for two. And one. Okay, inhaling. Start to bring that knee back to center and change it to your other hand. So your left hand is now taking your right knee over to the left in twists. So you're kind of bringing the body out in opposite directions. Your right knee moving to the left. Your right hand either to your ribs if you're limited on space or all the way out behind you and under the couch in my case. <laughs> Don't feel that this right knee has to come anywhere near the ground. We're trying to settle just a little bit of that opposition. Skin moving in two directions, little organ massage inside. Just take your full breath. Inhale, coming to center. Let's change knees. Send your right leg away, left shin in. And again, we're just on the left hand on the left shin. Right hand might steady your right hip and your left knee's moving open like a little frog's leg in a half circle to this side. And just feel that hip joint, feel that extra space. Breathe into that for two of your deepest breaths. Really notice how relaxed your shoulders can be on the ground. So next breath in, let's bring the left knee back to center, change hands. Right hand's gonna take that left knee and allow you an opposite twist. Left knee moving right. Sometimes you'll get a little click. Left hand moves back or resting on the ribs if you haven't got a lot of room. Last deep breath. Inhaling, coming to center. Let's make sure the hips are really central here on your mat, interlacing the hands behind the head. As before, we want to really support your head rising by using strength in the back and chest. So we're coming up without tension through the neck. Inhaling, feet are at right angles with knees and hips. And we're going to take our obliques. So just moving your chest slightly left, extend the right leg. Inhale, we're not pulling the head, we're moving the chest center, both knees center and looking right as the left heel extends. So breathing in, center, knees and chest. Exhale, chest to the left. Center, chest slightly right. Center, chest to the left. Center. Chest to the right. Let's go double time. Inhale, exhale. And just let your breath move as you kind of cycle in midair here. Again, feel your back press on the mat and just feel all that warmth, that energy running towards 
those core muscles traverse us and core and root. Take two more breaths and inhale, finishing over to your right with the chest. Let's bring both knees in. Settle the shins towards you. Release your breath. We're going to press your feet into the ground and rise this time. Pelvis off the floor in your half bridge. It doesn't have to be a huge arch. Hips are just rising off the ground. It can be very neutral, very relaxed, with a bit of energy around the back and glutes. And your knees are tracking in line with your hips, your feet are spread. We're breathing into that central line. Roots, belly, solar plexus, chest. Taking two more breaths. Inhale to lift, exhaling to come down. Let's bring the knees in towards our chest. If you need to, just take a little circle or two of your kneecaps. Massaging the numbers and then changing direction. And then when you're ready, we're coming in and out, rocking those knees back and forth until we come to sitting. Good, so I'd like you to set your feet gently at this hips distance apart. Heels slightly flexed, but back really nice and long. And we're just gonna kind of sit slightly back into that core energy, so you'll feel it start. It doesn't have to be all the way back, but you can challenge that if you want. So we're gonna inhale and just take a little tap, left hand, right foot, and we'll just go double. And then left, Foot, right hand, other side. So I want you to feel how you're kind of in your hip flexors here, but we're retaining that core strength. And I know it gets a little repetitive, but we're sitting tall and keeping the breath going. So we're coming to the last two. One. Inhale, lift, exhale. Allow both knees to sort of topple over to your left. And if you're happy here, just find a little sort of gentle twist and then a rise of your right arm flat to that left hand. If you can support coming off the ground here and taking a piriformis, a hip stretch and a slight arch will come off the hips here. Rise the arm behind you. Two big breaths. Exhaling, coming down when you're ready. Good, so inhale, let's just come to the other side. So both knees lift and tumble right. Just take a moment to sit tall and figure out how you feel this side. Inhaling, we can just lift the arm, free up the ribs. Or we can lift off the hips, stretch into the thigh, the hip, the belly and the chest. Inhaling, exhaling, release. Full breath in comes center. Let's find our way onto the toes. So feet underneath or around to the side and up onto your toes. Warming up now. So as we breathe here, let's find some length and maybe just notice how your calves feel such an unsung set of muscles. Just find a bit of extra space. I'm gonna take all that sort of core we warmed up into a rise. So we're rooting the feet down as we lift the tailbone. Let your feet really spread, feeling like they've got four corners each. Head's heavy here and knees can be really generous even to keep your lower back feeling long and settled. Take two big breaths to find an extra bit of lifting energy. Not necessarily straightening the legs, but just finding that lift. When you're ready, hands to the shins here for a flat back, crown presses forward. Good, so we're lengthening in this half lift. Just 
slightly bend both knees and kind of lean with your nose. So you're slightly looking up as you relax your hand. And then just sort of stick the bum out, come all the way to stand. And then tuck the chin in towards the chest. Kind of taking that figure of eight back down, so you might bend the knees and drop the arms as you look towards your belly button and then your feet. Hands to shins. Inhale, slightly leading with the nose. Slightly bend knees and come to stand. Exhale, chin to chest. Bring the arms up for your next breath in. And hands are just going to interlace behind the head as you bring those elbows to shoulder distance. Doesn't have to be much. Try not to pull the head down. Just finding a bit of extra space. and then breathing in to find the opposite. So a rise of the heart and the elbows out. Maybe slightly round, rising the eyes as well, rounding the eyes. <laughs> breathing in, breathing out. As we exhale, release your head level and we're gonna take the hands into the air and just take the thumbs only to link in. So feet are at hips distance, lift the fingertips, inhale. Exhale, let's take a little side stretch to your left. Breathe in center. And a little side stretch to your right. Inhale, center. Exhale, this time opening the arms to fold. Forward folding, you can bend those knees if you need. Inhaling, hands to the shins, flat back. Exhaling, refold. Start to release the hands to the ground. You're going to lift and step back your right foot. And as you bring your right knee down, just gently start to lift your chest and arms. Take another deep breath. And then reverse it. So hands frame your front foot. Pick up the back knee and bow the head towards your left knee. So you're kind of trying to find a lift in the tail here by bringing your muscles up against the spine. As we relax the front knee, hands find the ground for plank. And I want you to just spend maybe two or three breaths just changing weight in the hands. So your weight comes into your right hand, you release the left, and then changing. Let's just go for two breaths. Feel how the core is supporting you here. And when you're ready, we're bringing the elbow tips in, either landing the knees or the belly all the way down. Hands either side of your hips to rise into Shalabhasana. So chest, feet and hands, lift and crown presses forwards. Two big breaths. Inhale. Exhaling, release, hands under the shoulders. Let's lift the chest, hips, and then back over child's pose. You can give yourself a little wriggle just inside those thighs. Notice your hips again, breathing to the shoulders. And then we're gonna inhale. Move forward through a tabletop to take your right foot with you. We can help that along if you want. So we're breathing in to rise the chest and arms. Inhale. Two big breaths. Try to soften the face and the shoulders down. And then inhaling through the fingers. Exhaling, we're just going to reverse that hands down and sit bones driving up. Almost pressing your muscles up against the spine here. Inhaling, starting to rock to step your feet to the front of the mat. Exhaling to fold. So as we breathe in this time, 
We're going to take an opposite feeling of roll. So heavy arm, heavy head. This time your head is really dropped and you're rounding your shoulders, you're rolling through the back. So take it slow, feel every little bit. As we come to stand, heavy arms, stick the bum out. And again, we're leading with the chest, not the nose. So the head and the crown are the last things to drop down. When you're ready, inhale, we're going to drop a little bend into the knees, feet, maybe at hips distance, maybe slightly wider, ever so slightly wider than hips. And we're going to just sit the tailbone down. So you're kind of squatting hands forwards and see how lightly you can land that coming down. Good, inhale, we're going to cross the legs, take the right underneath the left as you sit tall. And we're actually just going to open this up. So we've got an open Sukhasana. It doesn't have to be a lot. You can if you want to open that a bit wider. Listen to the knee for that cue. So a tiny rock of the hip bones. Inhale to lift the chest. Exhale to let yourself fall. And your hands might find the ground. So you've got this really gentle right glute stretch. You want to bring that deep and make sure you're lengthening into it so you're coming down as much from the hinge of the hips as you can as you find forearms or if there's space you can even go further but no pressure to do that so you should feel this really nice area around the hip let your head really drop here as you take two more deep breaths Inhale, walk the chest tall. We're going to pick up the knees, take a little cannonball, nice and cozy. And then exhale, we're going into cross legs with the left leg under and the right leg over. Let's open it up, open Sukhasana, maybe a little wriggle of the hips, and then a right and a full. Maybe the hands, maybe the forearms. But really, wherever you end up, just let your head be this really nice heavy pendant at the end of the spine. You can imagine just draining away anything caught or fizzy. Last deep breath. Inhaling to start to come up and take the knees up too. Good. Again, you might just all up a little bit here. And as we exhale, we're going to unfold all the way to the floor. Where we're going to do some quite, quite challenging, but in a kind of really nice, relaxed way, some core work here. It's actually one of my favourites, but it is also a challenge. <laughs> So make sure you feel quite lengthened here, your spine can relax. And then as we inhale, let's take both legs off the ground into the air, directly above your hips. So you're at this right angle. I want you to feel your lower back. You might even bring your hands onto the belly or onto the hips here to steady yourself. And we're keeping those feet flexed. Breathing in, really feel your back. Breathing out, we're going to lower your right heel on the count of three. Two, three, let it hover just over the ground and then change direction, bring it back up. Two, three, and then change legs. Left heel comes down. Two, three, inhale, coming up. Two, three, we're going to repeat, right heel down. So you might breathe and feel that your back is trying to lift off the ground as you lift that leg, but really try to keep it in contact with the ground. Left heel and back up, two, three. Right heel, two, three. Inhale, 
two, three, left heel, two, three, inhale up, two, three, both legs, twice only, so just feel like you have some control over lower abdominal, skim the ground, embrace the tremble, back up, exhale, two, three, inhale, back up, exhale, release your knees, bend, grab the shins, and let your breath go. Again, if you want to soothe your back or soothe the knees or hips, just take whatever movement feels good. We might circle here. And then as you exhale, allow your feet to find the ground, knuckles of the toes touching, ankles touching. And then if it's comfortable, we're going to let both knees open here. It's like a big book, soles of the feet coming together. Breathing here. If that's not comfortable for you today, just keep your feet flat to the floor, knees up, in alignment with your hips, in semi-supine. I'll let you two close your eyes and let your breath take over for a couple of breaths. Just feel how we're in stretch and gravity is helping us. When you're ready, start to press to the outer edges of the feet, engage your hip muscles to bring the knees up, stretch your arms above your head, stretch your legs out long so you're on the floor like a big yawn, making yourself really tall. And then just flop the arms either side of you, <sighs> breathe out. And today we'll just spend three or four breaths in Shavasana, quietly just feeling what the breath and the body have to say. Starting to wriggle the fingers and the toes away. Let your breath summon and drum up a little energy internally. Feel the exhale breath take a little edge off and release anything stale or held. When you're ready, we're bundling the knees back up to the chest letting both knees fall over to the left side. If you can, keep your eyes closed as we gently, gently find our way up. And let's go into cross legs, just to finish together. Let's just have left hand and then right hand over the heart space. And we'll finish with just a few silent moments together. yourself maybe one more breath to honour yourself. And then prayer position, bowing to yourself. Namaste, open your eyes gently. Thanks so much. I hope that you found that cool work nice and spicy in a good way and I hope to see you at class soon or here again next week. Thank you everybody. Namaste.